Iraq and Afghanistan have been the longest running wars in the history of the United States. During more than 13 years of war, nearly 7,000 U.S. servicemen and women and nearly 1,500 Iraqi and Afghan interpreters were killed, and that's only part of the body count. Aside from the human toll, war has cost the United States nearly $6 trillion since 9-11. My name is Thomas Brennan, and I'm the founder of The War Horse. I served as a Marine in Iraq and Afghanistan and was medically retired after I was wounded in 2010. I began writing to understand my own experiences with war. Writing led me to my career in journalism. I've won national awards, graduated from Columbia University, and my work has been featured on the front page of the New York Times. That led me to start The War Horse, a digital magazine of investigative journalism and long-form features, a community and an open-source data repository that will explore war and trauma since 9-11. Legacy and modern media outlets have all uncovered wrongdoing in military and veteran affairs, but it's not their sole focus, and the effects of war are often too represented only by a number. That's where we come in. Our journalism will merge seamlessly with crowdsourced contributions and serve as a middle ground for veterans and civilians, pro-war and anti-war alike, creating an in-depth documentation that has never existed before. In addition to investigative journalism, we will host the Echoes Project, where professionally written profiles and user-submitted photos, videos, and I Remember Wins bring the human cost of war to life. Vivid long-form feature stories written with a boots-on-the-ground perspective will accompany stories, images, and sounds from more than 100 major battles. The War Horse and the Echoes Project are nonpartisan, hyper-focused, niche journalism dedicated to the tangible and intangible costs of military action. Investigative journalism has brought change to systemic wrongdoing in both the Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs. Failed suicide reporting in those same federal agencies has led to broad estimates and missing demographic data. The War Horse community will educate current and future generations. What we're going to do is we're going to allow every single person to be part of the conversation about war. The database we're asking you to help us create will be released as a public web application, making database-driven reporting available to every news organization in the world for free. We need your help to raise a minimum of $50,000. Your donation will help us start publishing stories as soon as May. The more we raise, the more stories we can share. If you can, please consider making a tax-deductible donation of money, goods, or services. Visit our site, see how you can help, and let us know what you think. Your opinion matters, and we can't do this alone. Everyone has their own war story. How will you share yours?